Hi there, this is another Open Office Calculator tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create two types of pivot tables based on names, amount spent and percentages of the total. So as you can see with this table over here, we have names, the amount these names spent and the percentages of the total. This column over here is a currency column and this over here is a percentage column. Now if you look carefully at this list you'll see names that repeat and what we're going to do with the pivot tables is sum up what each of the names have spent and what those sums create in terms of the percentage of the total. Okay, so we're going to be getting that data summed up and we're going to be putting that data into two types of pivot tables. These pivot tables are going to sum up the amount spent by each individual and they will also sum up the percentages of the total for each individual. Now let's create the first type of pivot table. We're going to get the data over here, select it, including the titles, okay? But we're not going to select the sums. We're going to go to the right over here and select create pivot table, okay? We're going to click on it and then we'll press OK for current selection. If that has been done correctly, we'll see the titles underneath fields. OK, so what we do is drag name into the row fields, this box over here. And then we drag amount spent and percentage of total into the data fields. We then go down to more over here. We remove the add filter option like this. And then we're going to click over here and select where we need to put our pivot table. So we click over here. And what I'm going to do is select the cell over here. OK, and then I'm going to click this button over here, shrink, to go back to the options. Now, if I've done this correctly, I can now click on OK. And as you can see, I get a pivot table that sums up what each person has spent, and it also sums up what they've spent as a percentage of the total. OK, and we can see that this information is correct because we've got 2318.01 over here and we have the same figure summed up over here. We also have 100% over here, which is the summation of all these percentages over here. And we have 100% over here. So we know this data is correct. Now there's something interesting that you can do with this pivot table. You can click up here, go to name and select the names you want to be seen. Okay, so let's say I don't want to see David's data or Joanna's data. I just click on these names over here, deselect them and then go down to OK. And as you can see, the amount spent changes because we have fewer people and also the percentage of the total. So this is something very interesting that you can do with your pivot tables. And it's not only that, you can sort out your data in ascending or descending order. 
Now I'm going to show you how to set up the final pivot table. So what we do is select the same data again without the totals. We then go up here to create pivot table. We then say OK to current selection. And then we put the name into the column field and then the amount spent and percentage of total into the data fields. We then go to more. We remove the add filter option. We select where we're going to put the table. So I'm going to select this cell over here. We click over here on shrink. And then what we do is press OK. All right. And what we get is the sum of what each person has spent and what that sum is in terms of the percentage of the total. Now what I'm going to do is expand these cells like this by clicking up here and then clicking between these letters. OK. So we can see everything clearly. And as we've got duplicates here, what I'm going to do is select this pivot table, click anywhere within it, and edit the layout. So here's the edit layout option. We're going to click on it, then go down to more, and we're going to remove the total rows option. Once we've done that, we can click on OK. And as you can see, the duplicates have been removed. Now this table over here is just a horizontal version of this vertical table over here. OK. And the totals are going to be the same. The percentage totals are going to be the same. It's just a horizontal version. Anyway, this is how to utilize pivot tables. They're going to be an excellent shortcut when you're analyzing data. I'm sure this video is going to help you save a lot of time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. For more maths, productivity and spreadsheet videos, ensure you are subscribed to my channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.